What is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel where in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a meta incredible 500k team that you guys can pick up right now on FIFA 21 a team that will destroy your opponents in foot champions a team that will annihilate your opponents in division rivals a team that's going to increase your skill rating guys the team is absolutely incredible and I highly recommend you guys go ahead and get it but with that being said before I get into the squad builder I got a quick little message for you guys so let me get straight into it if you me to build your own personal squad builder all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps all you got to do is like this video subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications all right and once you guys have done that take a picture screenshot that head over to my instagram follow my instagram and then dm me that screenshot of you following the steps and once you guys have done that i can then build your squad it's literally that easy it's literally that simple and then you can end up like these guys So make sure you guys go ahead and follow the steps if you want me to build your own personal squad builder. But anyways, enough of the chit chat. I hope you do end up enjoying the video. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's waste no more time and get straight into the squad builder, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, guys. So as you can see on your screens right now for this insane 500k team the formation that you guys want to use is the 4-3-2-1 formation but that is just to get everyone on full chemistry at the end of the video i will show you guys what formation you should switch to um in game through custom tactic presets but with that being said ladies and gentlemen let's waste no more time and get straight into the first player of the squad builder so in the striker position we do have a very very insane um in form card he goes by the name of wilfred zaha Wilfred Zaha in this game, absolutely fantastic, man. I really, really do like him. As you guys know, he is my kind of player, a five-star skiller, a very, very agile player, pacey, quick, good at shooting. He, he's just my kind of player. He really is, and I do recommend that you guys go ahead, go ahead and get him too. As you guys can see, like I said, he's got five-star skill moves. Yes, he's only got three-star weak foot, but in my opinion, this FIFA, I don't feel like three-star weak foot is actually that bad. I, feel, I still feel like it's quite decent, as long as you don't do finesse shots on their weaker foot. Um, but with that being said, um, yeah, Wilfred Zaha has got 94 sprint speed, he's got 90 acceleration, 80 finishing and 84 short power. But to be honest, his finishing in-game does feel a lot better than 80. And then, of course, man, he's got that super agility, 89 agility there, 88 ball control, 92 dribbling and 82 composure. I'm telling you, man, Wilfred Zaha is an, is an absolute beast of a player. And I really, really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up. But um, with that being said, in the left forward position, we do have the one and only, the man himself, Marcus Rashford, man absolutely incredible player in this game and to be honest you guys watching this video probably know that already you guys watching this video probably already already have him in your current team because he's just that good one of the most meta cars in the game one of the best players to use in this game as you guys can see he's got five star skill moves and four star weak foot he's got 93 sprint speed and 89 acceleration his finishing is absolutely ridiculous in this game he's got 90 shot power and 83 finishing and then he's got 86 agility 85 ball control and 87 dribbling guys marcus rash one of the best cards in the game you guys probably know this already man so yeah just make sure you go ahead and get him it's literally that simple but with that being said moving on in towards the right forward position we do have another premier league wide player he goes by the name of lucas mora man lucas mora is absolutely fantastic in the game he really is he's a cheap beast man he's got the pace he's got the agility the skill moves the weak foot the shooting he's got it all man he really really does and he's very very cheap as well and that is why i do like him four star four stars you guys can see there 95 acceleration 89 sprint speed 79 uh, finishing and 80 shot power 93 agility 92 balance 85 ball control and 88 dribbling man lucas mora is an absolutely incredible card so make sure you guys go ahead and pick uh, and pick him up man he really really is a fantastic player to use in fifa 21 but with that being said um, moving on in towards the midfield, we're going to start with the left uh, the left centre mid position now. In this position, we actually do have a left mid, um, but you want to play him here at centre mid on 7 chem, right? But obviously in game, we won't be playing centre mid. But like I said, um, it's just here for the chemistry. Now, I know a player at left mid that, does, uh, that you do put, put in centre mid, he only gets 7 chem with loyalty and a manager. But I think this man here, Hungman Sonaldo, um, can do a fantastic job on 7 chem. He still is amazing, whether he's on 7, whether he's, whether he's on 8, 9 or 10 chemistry, man. Hungman Sonaldo is an absolute beast of a player in this game. And that is why I do recommend that you guys use him 
on uh, seven chemistry man as you guys can see five star weak foot four star skill moves you can't really go wrong with that man absolutely insane very very fast as well got great finishing great shot power great long shots great attacking positioning fantastic agility great ball control amazing dribbling like he's got it all he really does have it all and again just like Rashford I'm pretty sure you guys probably have it him or even his player of the month in your club already so you guys probably know that Hungman Sonaldo is an absolute beast um, of a player in this game I mean we don't call him Hungman Sonaldo for no reason all right there's a reason for for that name that we give him Sonaldo because he's an absolute beast mate he's the Asian Ronaldo that's what he is so make sure you guys go ahead and get him because he's absolutely incredible in this game I love I love Son honestly I love Son in real life and on FIFA he's absolutely incredible um but yeah to partner up with Son in the midfield I guess um we do have my boy Fred Fred man absolutely incredible one of my favorite sentiments in the game if you guys do watch the channel a lot you guys will know that I rate Fred highly I think that hands down he's one of the best midfielders to use in the game game he's small just quick across the ground very tenacious tackles very very well um he's agile as well he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot like he's so well rounded he's so good at defending he's good going forward he's finishing is much better than 69 as well that like, i've used fred a lot and he does score a lot for me because like he gets forward and when he does he gets in good positions and he actually scores from them because he's finishing is a lot better than 69 man he's honestly a fantastic card so make sure you guys go ahead and get fred and uh, yeah as you guys can see there man four star skill moves and four star weak foot but yeah fred is absolutely incredible man so like i said just one more time make sure you go ahead and get him but moving on in towards the uh, right center mid position we do have an um a swiss player a bundesliga player he goes by the name of dennis zakaria um dennis zakaria absolutely fantastic in the game highly highly recommend that you guys go ahead and use him i think that um he i think this partnership of fred and zakari in midfield is a very very good partnership they clump they complement each other very very well because fred you know he's small he's not as strong as zakari but he's more he's better on the ball he's a lot more agile he's got the skill moves he's better going forward and he's also still good defending he's faster as well um well in my opinion in game fred feels faster than zakari but by stat zakari is faster but just in game me personally i think that fred actually feels faster than him but zakari Zakaria is on the other hand compared to Fred you know he's tall like six foot three Zakaria is I'm pretty sure is he six foot three yeah he's six foot three he's got 85 sprint speed 81 acceleration but like I said in game I actually do feel like Fred is faster um when it comes to defending as well he's very very good he's strong amazing at tackling I just think that he's a very very good CDM and I think having Fred next to him is just perfect so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick up those two but moving on in towards the midfield uh in towards the defense we go sorry in the left back position we do have another Man United player our third Man United player of the of this squad builder actually in the left back spot we do have Alex Tejas now to be honest with you guys <clears throat> you can actually just pick up any left back that you want in the premier league to be honest within your price range but obviously this is a 500k team so yeah just make sure you get tellers if you want to get someone cheaper than him like i don't know a patrick van Aanholt that you think is better because he's faster then go ahead and get him but i think alex tears is fantastic his passing is amazing in the game and i think that's that's why he's so good like he's got the pace he's he's, he's not too slow not too fast i just say, say he's got average pace but i guess with a shadow um it does uh, his pace does go up a little bit more um but yeah his passing is absolutely fantastic his long passing is ridiculous those line through balls that i know many of you guys like to do you can literally just use and abuse those with um alex Tejas's passing but yeah as you guys can see he's good at defending as well and just overall a fantastic card so make sure you guys go ahead and get alex Tejas. but on the other side in the right back spot we do have the one and only the man himself kevin mbabu um mbabu man just class just just a class right back to be honest with you guys just a class right back he's pacey he's strong he's good at defending he just gets the job done it's just, it's just that simple he gets the job done he does what he needs to do 90 acceleration 89 sprint speed um and decent defending stats as well man absolutely fantastic he also does have 91 stamina but just all in all he just gets the job done like he, he does what he needs to do from that right back position to be honest with you guys so yeah make sure you go ahead and get him but now now, here we do move on in towards the centre back spot. So in the left centre back position, again, I'm not even going to waffle on about how good he is because you guys will know. Like the moment I just, it's just that one letter. You guys know who it is now. Come on, I've typed in the letter G. You got, you guys should know how. You guys should know who it is now. That simple, man. There's only, there's only one centre back who it can be. There's only one centre back who it can be, man. It's going to be, of course, Joe Gomez, man. Honestly, you, you guys know the situation with this guy, man. 
one of the best one of the best centre backs in the game to be honest with you guys. He's pacey, amazing at defending, and just a meta card, man. He just fits the meta of the game. He's just a meta player. We're gonna move on. Just go ahead and pick up Joe Gomez. It's that simple. It, it, it's just that simple. Um, but to partner up with Joe Gomez in the centre back position, we do have someone that goes by the name of Elvedi. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure that's how you uh, pronounce his name. Um, but yeah, he actually got a new release team in a group stage card. Um, and I think this is a fantastic card, so I recommend that you guys go ahead and get hit as you guys can see it's actually quite fast the only thing is is that his acceleration is quite low so in terms of sprint speed he's very very good but yeah i would recommend getting like a shadow or catalyst chemistry style to increase that acceleration a little bit more um but in terms of defending he's absolutely insane 84 strength 87 standing tackle 81 defensive awareness 86 interception he's just a fantastic card man so make sure you guys go ahead and get him he really really is an overpower card to use but with that being said to complete this insane 500k team in the goalkeeper position we do have nick pope man a cheap but overpower keeper honestly in my opinion he's just like the fifa 17 jack butlin just a cheap meta keeper what makes pope so good in this game is the fact that he's got that trait the saves with the feet trait man that's a fantastic trait to have in this game and i actually think pope is just an incredible keeper one of the tallest keepers in the game as well six foot seven i think that he's just an absolute beast of a player of a keeper sorry so yeah just make sure you guys go ahead and get him if you guys do want to upgrade um pope then just go ahead and um, pick up his um not his go ahead and get allison instead all right that can be your next upgrade with this team get allison and go instead of pope but in my opinion i think pope is a very very good cheap meta card to you so yeah make sure you get him and um yeah what i'm actually going to do i'm going to take fred out real quick because that's the the version i have in my club and the version i have in my club is actually a center forward so it's not giving him full chem i just want to show you guys that fred does actually get full chem so let me just put a concept version of him in the team um so you guys can see that he does get full chemistry so um yeah for full chem as well as you guys as can see man marcus rashford and lucas mora are both right mids and left mids at left forward and right forward so all you want to do is buy them as a winger and then yeah they'll look as, a, as like a left winger and a right winger and then they'll get full chemistry and then uh yeah so with that being said i'm gonna show you guys what formation to switch to in game that formation is going to be indeed the 442 formation like, it can be the 442 or the 44 or the 4231 but i think the 442 is better so i'm gonna recommend that formation to you guys because i think that yeah that the 442 is just an insane formation to use but um yeah in this formation there's, there's a few combinations that you can do this is combination number one with the front four so obviously you're gonna have fred and zakari in midfield that's just standard and the defense is normal but with this front four if you're a skiller right if you if you're someone if you're someone that likes skills and you love your five star skillers i would have zaha and rashford up front someone like me if i had this team I would use Rashford and Zaha up front because you guys know I love my skill moves. Just go watch my Foot Champs highlights. You guys will see me. I, I, I do love I do love a bit of skill moves here and there. So personally for me, I would actually use Rashford and Zaha here. But if you guys are, you know, you're not that, you don't use skill moves a lot. You know, just every now and then you use skill moves. I would just use Son up front for that five star weak foot with Rashford. But with that being said, you guys can do your own combination. It's completely up to you and your play style. But just make sure you do use this formation because it is a fantastic formation to use. But with that being said, I've done enough waffling for today. I hope you did enjoy the video. It's been your boy RB Plays. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And yeah, until next time, peace.